and bright, cheerful. Unlike my gloomy new tent. <laughs> the dungeon. This is the snug pack bunker. That's about. And boy, is it. It's a bunker. I would show you the inside, but it's incredibly it, dark. It sucks the light. It does. From all around. This thing is bomb proof for sure. I would say. Yeah. This is brand new. I've never slept in this. We'll definitely be spending more time tomorrow discussing the tent, showing you around inside it. So as far as the night went, it was comfortable, but, well, I wouldn't say it was comfortable. It was restless. And this morning there were coyotes howling all around us, which was pretty cool. Joe didn't sleep too well. I didn't sleep too well. It was a long night. Yeah. It wasn't a problem with either of the, both of the tents were fine. It was just something about, both of us are, have been hammock camping for so long that to sleep in a tent finally was really uncomfortable. Um, I haven't given up tent camping, obviously, or I wouldn't have spent the money on this. This is the nicest tent I've ever owned. This is a four season tent, as I've said, and it is, it is bomb proof. So I plan on using this in colder weather. Um, I still plan on hammock camping too. But uh, I'll give you a quick tour. It's kind of a mess right now. And it's dark in there. I don't even know if you can see inside this thing. This is made by Snug Pack. I'm a fan of Snug Pack. Uh, this is one door here. And there's another door here. So double entrance. Um, that makes for good ventilation when it's too warm and you know, obviously there's no windows on the side. We do have these vents that allow uh, air to flow through so we don't have a lot of condensation, which I did not have any condensation tonight or last night. Um, but if you open just the bug net or leave just the bug net open on both doors, it allows the air to flow through nicely. Um, but it is a very dark tent. I didn't even know the sun had come up when I got up this morning. Here's your look inside. Okay, so I hang my lantern there. It's got lots of pocket space over there and also over here on this side. This is my Airy 30, kept me warm. I have two wool blankets with me this time and an inflatable sleep pad. And my pillow, I've had this for some time. Summit Outfitters must have a leak in it. Is self-inflating and you can also blow it up and I had to blow this up three times in the night because it went totally flat on me so I'm in the market for a different pillow that one's not very comfortable listen okay so I wrapped my my jacket around it my fleece jacket to make it more comfortable um, this is a wool blanket I got off Amazon for like 25 bucks and I got this wool blanket had an Army Navy surplus, which is thicker and warmer, for six dollars. So I learned my lesson there. And over here, I just have my pack and my clothes, and it was kind of muddy last night, so I got some cleaning to do. Here are the vent holes right here. Um, the fly, it's a fly first tent. You set up the fly, and then you set up the inside underneath it. That was such a pain in the butt when I set it up at home that. Uh, I left them attached when I rolled them up and put them back in the bag to bring to, on this trip, and I'm going to keep it that way. Keeping them separate is just too much work to hook it all together, so it went up pretty quick without having to hook the inside to the outside. But that's so that if it's storming, you can climb underneath the fly and continue setting up your tent without getting drenched. So it's a cool feature, uh, but not one that I necessarily need. And if you look, in between the two walls, we have airflow so we don't have to worry about condensation at all. Anyway, so there's my tent, and that's where I slept. And that's, that's just a quick rundown. It has tie outs for, you know, if it's windy, but it really wasn't too windy. Just windy enough to be uncomfortable. Anyway, so we're gonna get set up. I'm probably gonna put my snug pack bunker tent right over here in this spot. There's no designated spot, but Joe will probably set up over there. Right now, it's a little breezy. Temperature's around 50. Uh, there's a storm coming in tonight. As you can see, it's kind of creeping in out that way. 
that's the Great Salt Lake and the clouds are encroaching probably overnight while we're asleep we will get inundated with rain I think I'll start with setting up the tent Okay, so the bunker is set up. What I've done is I've I've guided out all the way around since there's a storm coming in. Don't know if it'll get windy, but better safe than sorry. Oh, I missed one. I have to take care of that. Anyway, what I've done is I've anchored it down, and this is a lot of gravel. Hey, Penny. Um, I've anchored this down really well, and then I've covered it with gravel as added weight and security. So there's that. I've shown the inside before, but what the heck. There's the inside of the bunker. It's got two doors and it's very dark. Let's go look at Joe and see what he's doing before we throw our bedding into here for the night. So right now I'm just going to get organized in there and get my, I'm going to put all my gear in my tent because if it rains like it's supposed to then I don't want to be running out here in the night to grab everything. Okay guys, I am in the bunker. Yeah, it's about 10 p.m. Got my little fairy lights on in here, all strung up. Giving me some nice ambient light. If I need it, I've got my headlamp hanging from the roof. But I don't think I need it. I can see just fine in here. So, it's downtime. We have uh, had a few sprinkles come through. Uh, a flash of lightning, some thunder, and then calm. The wind stopped blowing. The rain didn't really pick up. It's very quiet and calm now. I even saw a few stars earlier, so maybe our storm is going to peter out. I hope. So that's it. I'm going to go to bed. I'm just going to settle in. It's written in really good now. It's about 1.30 in the morning and I've been dozing but I've also been listening to it rain. Listen to that. I'm bone dry and nice and warm. Guess I'd better try to get some sleep. It's a great sound to fall asleep to. So for whatever reason, I can't seem to get to sleep. The rain is nice, but it's really coming down. It's pretty loud. Good morning guys, it is about 7.10. I was finally able to go to sleep after a while. It's still raining, but not as heavy. Let's see what today looks like.
The uh, lens is a bit foggy. Let's wipe that off. Misty, but not too bad compared to the pouring rain I listened to most of the night. Our bunker did really well. See how it deflected the water quite nicely. Didn't even feel a drop. Look at that. This storm's supposed to last till about noon, so we have about another five hours of this. Okay, I'll tell you what, these oh fairy lights have been worth their weight in gold. They give me just enough light in here. It's a very dark tent. It's made for heavy weather like this, and I'm so glad I brought it. The tent has been great. The wind is blowing, but I'm warm and dry now. Listen to that. This is nuts, guys. This is, uh, <laughs> winter's over and spring has arrived with a vengeance. You can see through the mesh how my guy line has come loose and the flap is just flopping around in the wind there. Most of my guy lines held, that one came loose. And in this bunker, if you don't keep these two mesh screens, there are two of them. Here. If you don't keep them zipped shut, that outer shell doesn't zip at the bottom. And as you can see, I got some water in the tent because I had the mesh open. And the wind was blowing the outer shell and letting rain come in. So, lesson learned. Keep this zipped in bad weather. Something interesting about this tent. I don't know if you can see. The inner wall is actually suspended from the outer wall. What that means is you can set up the fly first in the rain and then get underneath it and set up the inner part of the tent. That's the idea behind this bunker. So if you hit really sudden inclement weather and need to take shelter, you can get that fly up in a hurry and then worry about the inner part of the tent connecting to the shell later. Um, the problem is that's that's kind of a pain in the butt to do it that way. And I, doing research online, I found out that anyone who owns this tent pretty much leaves it connected. You can see the connections there. They leave it connected even when they put the tent away. And that's what I do. I don't disconnect the two parts. I don't use it that way. Uh, I just pretty much open it and set it up and it's been fine. I haven't had any problems with it that way. I guess that's an option if it comes down to it. If you keep the fly and the inner tent uh, separate, 
but I don't. I keep them connected so I can just open it, set it up like any other tent, and just get on with it. I'll tell you what though, it's held up well. This is, when they call this a bunker, they mean it's a bunker. I am safe and dry and warm from all of the elements. down in my tent for now. You, you staying dry? So far. Back into the warmth and safety of the bunker. This is a gear test if ever there was one. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Well, we're back in the warmth and safety of the bunker. Um, we're gonna stay a little longer. He wants to wait it out. He's he's warm and dry in his tent. I probably should have anchored that. Anchored that piece down right there that's flopping around. But I really don't want to go out there. The wind is really picking up, so. What a fantastic gear test, though. I've never been more impressed with a tent in my life. You want a good four season tent? I highly recommend the Bunker. Really, probably, there are other snug pack tents that are probably just as bomb proof. But this is just right for me for this kind of weather. Can't believe Joe's over there in an ultralight, but he's, but he's warm and dry, so. Anyway, we are just going to hunker down in our tents for a while and chill. If you're wondering, condensation in this tent is a non-issue because the inner tent is suspended several inches from the outer shell. Plenty of airflow without it being cold at all or feeling the breeze. The air actually seems to circulate around the inner tent. So that's been nice not to have the usual condensation that comes with most tents. <laughs> this is unreal, guys. The wind is a rocking and a rolling. This is definitely a trip to remember. <laughs> oh my. Truth be told, I'd rather be doing this than sitting in my bedroom watching a movie or something. But that's just me. I love a good rainstorm when you're home warm and safe in your house and you can just kind of cuddle up and, and enjoy listening to it rain outside from the safety of your <sighs> four walls solid four walls but nothing beats this experience either this isn't something this isn't something you can just experience from sitting inside your house 
I still have a tent set up in my backyard. I've been doing a gear test on the Teton Sports four-man tent. By the time you see this, that gear test will be over <clears throat> and probably uploaded before this outing will be. But I wonder if it's even still standing in my backyard. Luckily, my uh, my son Murphy, he's he's home. And he's been keeping an eye on it. Whoops! He's been keeping an eye on it for me. It's definitely a summertime tent, and so if it's storming this much at my house, I'm a bit concerned that that tent is dry and frankly still in the same place if it's windy like this at my, at my house. I live right at the foothills of the mountains so the wind just howls down my street. It's enough to lift up a trampoline and take it to town, you know. We'll see. We'll see if it's still there when I get back, I guess. You'll probably already know that before I do right now, because frankly, from your perspective, that video is already up. This is a good gear test too. So I just got a text from Joe over in his tent. I yield, LOL. I'm ready to bug out if you are. <laughs>
Okay, so you are looking at the Snug Pack Bunker. This is a four season tent. I've, I've used this in other videos during fall and winter months, sometimes spring. Um, the last time I used it was Antelope Island with Joseph Shanks. And this thing stood up during a horrific downpour. So this is a great tent. It's solid, it's very dark inside. Um, what I've got, I don't have it totally set up. As you can see, it's a mess. But uh, just got a sleeping pad and snug pack jungle blanket to put over the sleeping pad, a five degree Teton sports bag, and miscellaneous items to keep me comfortable in there, like a pillow, a uh, Thermarest pillow. Anyway. So we're set up over here. Started to get a little chillier out here. Temperatures, whoops, temperatures are in the 50s. So now that I'm cooling down from setting up camp, I'm starting to feel the cooler temperatures, probably low 50s right now. It's going to get down probably just into the low 40s or upper 30s tonight, so I should be warm enough and comfortable. And that's it, that's our, that's our setup right now in my favorite little clearing that uh, nobody knows about but me. Well, you guys can't see a whole lot, but I do have my little fairy lights on, whatever you want to call them. Hanging up inside the tent here. Um, it seems like midnight, but seriously, it's like 6.30 p.m. So I'm gonna sit here and, I don't know, watch a video on my phone. Um, listen to an audiobook. Anyway guys, there's not really much I can film in the next couple hours before I actually go to sleep, so uh, I guess that's it for for today. I'm gonna just chill and then go to sleep, so thanks for joining me and I will see you in the morning. Sweet dreams. Well, good morning, guys. <clears throat> it was a pretty uneventful night. There were a lot of owls, probably four or five different owls, all through this forest, talking to each other all night. Um, so I'm just going to pack up and head out. Thank you for joining me at my secret spot. Shh, don't tell anyone where it is. I'm Utah Steve. Do yourselves a favor. Steal some chickens run amok downtown, and play with a bunch of Barbie dolls. No, that's not how it goes. It's uh, get off the couch, get outside, and have some fun. The views are amazing. Life gets better, my friends. Hang in there. See you in the next video.
helping out here rain or shine. So let's get this set up. I'm not going to film the setup. I don't know if you can even hear me right now. I won't know until I edit this. But uh, I'm just going to set this up and, and come back. So this may be kind of hard to hear me. I'm just going to give you an overview. I've staked it out, the bunker, and I've also uh, really anchored it down for the wind. And it was a wrestling match. I'm glad I didn't film it. It would have been embarrassing to watch. Everything is anchored. Seems to me like there should be a tie out here to allow for airflow. There should be another one here because there's one on this vent right here. Makes no sense to only have one. Anyway, here's our door and we'll be facing the lake. So we wake up in the morning, we have a nice view. There's the bunker. Hunker in the bunker a little bit. I'm gonna just show you real quick the inside. I have my Outdoor Vitals 30 degree quilt that I use for hammock camping. Got a Thermarest sleep pad. Thanks, Joe. We have my fleece if I need it. This is my sleeping beanie that wraps over my head. It shouldn't be too cold tonight. Puffer coat, pillow, socks, and thermals. I think I'll be warm enough. That's all I've got in here right now. These these ones that won't go on the ground, these stakes, it's solid rock under there in some places. I've just been anchoring it and then putting a, a rock on it. I need something bigger there, but I had to do the same over here. The stake wouldn't go all the way in, but most of these are in the ground, well anchored. I'm set for the night. As you can see, I stepped all over my tent, trying to wrestle with it to get the poles in it but this wind has been insane. Okay, <laughs> finally out of the wind. I'm just gonna organize my stuff here before I make dinner. Um, got my pack in here. There's just no point in leaving all that stuff out there. So let's put our head there and make our bed. And We're gonna have a cozy, fun, amazing night here. Those people who left because of the wind, they don't know what they're missing. They really don't. Life gets windy, my friends. Doesn't mean you have to run and hide. Sometimes that's where the adventure is. And that's why we're here. All right, all my coat and fleece and sleeping stuff can go here. All right, let's hang our, uh, our, let's hang the uh, roll pack all my goodies in it that I might need right there that's awesome and as far as our illumination goes I want to be able to find it easily when it gets dark just gonna put it in this pocket right inside the front door my book can go near my head tools tools multi-tool I'm gonna put back out on the table that's not gonna blow away I don't know why I brought it in here these things are great. Inexpensive little LED lights. I call them fairy lights. If you Google fairy lights, you might you might get an alternative website or something. But I got this off of Amazon. I don't remember how much, not very much. But what I like to do is kind of thread it through things in the ceiling little hoops and the, whatever I can find. It's it's very bendable and opposable, I should say. Uh, it's posable, not opposable. That's my thumb. So one problem with the, the bunker here, it's a four season tent and it does not have a vestibule. So it would be nice to have an enclosed area right here and be able to cook dinner and have it shielded from the wind instead of out in the open like this. It's still doing fine, and I'm watching it closely so the flames, you know, don't burn the tent. Um, but I seriously consider bringing a tarp. And I wish I had because I could have attached it to the top of the tent and strung it out that way and created a nice vestibule to sit inside of. But I didn't think of it when I left the house. I thought of it 
when I was packing, I thought, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. And that's the last I thought of it. So we have to do it this way. I The wind seems to be semi-backing off. So I'm hoping that it's not going to last clear through tomorrow or something. There's nothing on the weather about it. It just said it would be moody weather. I guess this is moody. It's really beautiful here. Looking forward to hunkering down in my little abode. Getting out of the wind so that I can have some quiet because the constant noise in my ears and trying to film in this is horrible. But anyway, I'm going to settle in and we'll talk in a minute just before I go to bed. You can actually hear me. Well, guys, it's quiet in the tent. Um, got my fairy lights on, lighting up my face. So you can see my beautimous appearance. Um, I do have a headlamp. Where did I put it? I just had it on a minute ago so I could get situated. Anyway, you don't want to see just half my face. I'm not trying to be artsy here. There we go. There's my face. All right. So I checked the weather and it could possibly rain tonight it may or may not if the weather gets worse i'll come back and share it with you but for now it's 8 p.m and now frankly i'm exhausted so you guys have a good night there's not much else to say i'll see you in the morning good night if i can turn the right light off ah no not strobe light Well, I had to get out of the wind. It's cold. <laughs> it's in the 40s. It's not horrible, but the wind makes it extra cold. I had to put on my fleece. Well, my friends, that's it. I've got my pack on. I can hike the 230 feet to the car. <laughs> All cleaned up. 